call to prayer. Greet Philogius, Julia, Nereus and his sister and Olympus and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Welcome to Daily Devotions from Cram and Kirk on Monday the 10th of August 2020. The theme of our Daily Devotions this week is Inspirational Saints. Let us pray. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Amen. Ezra may not be the name which leaps into your mind when you think of inspirational saints. However, he does make a real and lasting contribution. He has a brook of the Old Testament named after him. We don't know everything about him, but we do know enough to celebrate his life. In the book of Ezra, he chronicles the return of the Jewish exiles from their period of shame and sorrow in Babylon. He witnesses and records the rebuilding of the great temple in Jerusalem. He tells us about the emotion when worship begins again in that special place. We do not know if he's buried in Aleppo or Basra, but he loved the law of God, loved God's house, and was an important historian. I'm using a selection of verses from Ezra chapter 3 to help us celebrate his life this morning. Listen for God's word. When the eleventh month came, and the Israelites were in the towns, the people gathered together in Jerusalem. Then Jeshua, son of Joazdak, with the fellow priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Sheltiel, with his kin set out to build the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings on it, as prescribed in the law of Moses, the man of God. They set up the altar on its foundation, because they were in dread of the neighbouring peoples, and they offered burnt offerings upon it to the Lord, morning and evening. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. So they gave money to the masons and the carpenters, and food, drink, and oil to the Sidonians and to the Tyrians to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea to Joppa, according to the grant that they had from King Cyrus of Persia. When the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments were stationed to praise the Lord with trumpets, and the Levites, the son of Aphas, with cymbals according to the directions of King David of Israel. And they sang responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and for his steadfast love endures forever towards Israel. And all the people responded with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and heads of family, old people who had seen the first house on its foundations, wept with a loud voice when they saw this house though many also shouted for joy, so that the people could not distinguish the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. For the people shouted so loudly that the sound was heard far away. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Let us pray together. Great and loving God, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, but in the company of all your people in heaven and on earth. Remind us as we pray that we belong to you and to one another. Open our hearts and minds to our sisters and brothers from the past who have shown commitment in difficult situations to rebuild, to restore, and to worship you. 
We pray today for the congregations of the Church of Scotland who are all attempting to wend away through the chaos created by the pandemic. We pray for all trying to give advice on the law and good procedure. As we remember Ezra, we give thanks also for our connections with the Jewish faith, praying for all in Israel-Palestine. We also pray today for the people of Beirut. Grant the people of God's strength to meet all the opportunities and challenges we face with faith and love, our lives bearing witness to the hope you give. God of every people, hold in your healing presence all who are ill. Draw close to anyone who is worried or anxious. And in all our duties and activities of the day, be our companion and our guide. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose name we pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever. Amen. May God give us grace to follow the saints in faith, hope and love, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with us today and always. Amen. <laughs>